Assalamualaikum and very good morning. Today we going to learn about alkahalite and nucleophilic substitution. What is alkahalite? Look at the first structure. Alkahalite are organic molecule containing a halogen atom such as fluorine, chlorine, bromine or iodine bonded to an sp3 hybridized carbon atom. Alkahalite can be classified as a methahalite, primary alkahalite, secondary alkahalite and tertiary alkahalite. The halogen atom in halide is often denoted by the symbol at according to the structures. There are several alkahalite which iodine, bromine and chlorine attach to the carbon on the alkahalite molecule. Structure below shows the different kind of alkahalite, which is vanyl halide. Vanyl halide, halogen atom attached to the carbon-carbon double bond, and aryl halide, halogen atom, atom attached to the um, benzene ring. For the allylic halide, halogen atom attached to the carbon adjacent to the carbon-carbon double bond, while for the benzylic halide. Hydrogen atom attached to the benzylic ring. For the allylic halide, halogen atom attached to the carbon adjacent to the double bond, while for the benzylic halide, the halogen atom attached to the benzene ring, adjacent to the benzene ring. We can name alkyl halide using the IUPAC system. Look at the first structure. The alkyl halide, halide, we have functional group which is chlorine and methyl group. There are two steps to name this structure. The first step is we need to find the parent carbon chain containing the halogen. So from here, we can count the carbon atom from the right side from the chlorine. So we have seven carbon is the longest chain. Step 2, we need to follow the alphabetical order to name and number the substituent. Sing chloro at carbon number 2, chlorine at carbon number 2, and methyl at carbon number 5. So then the answer is the, number, the name of the compound is 2 chloro 5 methyl heptane. This structure shows that common name for the alkahalite. The first one is tertiary butyl iodide, where the halogen atom is iodine. And the second one is the ethyl chloride where the halogen atom is chlorine. Physical properties of alkahalite. Alkahalite are weak polar molecule. We can see that from, from the structure, they exhibit dipole-dipole interaction because they have a polar bond which is C and X where is carbon and halogen and they are incapable of intermolecular hydrogen bonding since they only have carbon-carbon bond and carbon-hydrogen bond. For the physical properties of alkahalite, boiling point and melting point, alkahalite have higher boiling point and melting point than alkane. Boiling point and melting point increases as the size of R and X increases. Alkahalite is soluble in organic solvent but insoluble in water. Higher melting point and boiling point for the propyl chloride is because the larger the surface area of this molecule. But higher melting point and boiling point for the ethyl bromide is because the more polarizable halogen for this molecule. Look at this reaction. Alkahalite will undergo substitution reaction with nucleophile and then the second reaction is alkahalite will undergo elimination reaction with bronsted lorry bases and will produce alkene. The first reaction is the general substitution reaction which involves alkahalite and nucleophile. Reaction below shows that the reaction between alkyl group and nucleophile to produce carbon nucleophile new bond and the living group will come off. Look at this molecule. The first one on the left which is a alkahalite and on the right side is the nucleophile. 
This is the example of the substitution reaction. The arrow shows here is the attack from the nucleophile at the carbon atom on the alkyhalide. And then the second arrow shows that the living group, which is halogen, bromine, leaf. And then the products is shown on the right. Look at this molecule. The first one on the left, which is an alkyhalide, and on the right side is the nucleophile. This is the example of the substitution reaction. The arrow shows here is the attack from the nucleophile at the carbon atom on the alkyhalide. And then the second arrow shows that the living group, which is halogen, bromine, leaf. And then the products is shown on the right. This is example of the substitution reaction. The first product is uh, the first molecule is the alkyhalide, and then the second one hydroxyl is the nucleophile. The nucleophile will attack the carbon next to the bromine, and the bromine will go. This is the molecule of alkyhalide, and then this is the molecule of the nucleophile. Nucleophile will attack the carbon next to bromine which is a living group and the bromine will leave and afford a product which is alcohol. And the second example is the reaction of the neutral nucleophile which attack to the carbon next to bromine and then the bromine will leave and afford the substitution product which have a positive charge on it. This is an example of nucleophilic substitution reaction which involves alkyhalide and base. So in this reaction, it involves two steps. One is the nucleophilic substitution where the nucleophile attack to the carbon and the bromine which is a living group will leave and the second step is the proton transfer and it will afford a neutral product. The flow of mechanism is shown here. Whereas this is the first arrow, and then the second arrow with bromine leaf, and then shows the product. And then the second one, the so second step, which is proton transfer, and produce a neutral molecule. In a nucleophilic substitution reaction, it involves living group. We can compare two living groups, for example, water and hydroxyl. Water is a weak base, so then is a better living group compared to hydroxyl. Look at the first diagram. There are periodic trends in living group ability. The basicity will decrease, so the living group ability increases. For the second diagram, on the halide, the basicity will decrease, so the living group ability increases. Look at this table. All the halide ion except fluoride ion have a good living group since they are conjugal acid, which is HCl, HPr, have a low pKa value. This molecule do not undergo nucleophilic substitution because they have a living group which have conjugal acid whereby the conjugal acid have a pKa value high Allah saya teruskan this molecule boleh nah this molecule did not undergo nucleophilic substitution since the living group where the conjugal acid have a higher pKa value we means nucleophiles means lewis base and bases mean bronsted lewis base the nucleophile nucleophile and bases are structurally similar both have lone pair or a pi bond they differ what they attack for example if you look at this diagram nucleophile will attack the carbon but bases will attack, attack the proton nucleophilicity and basicity are interrelated they are 
fundamentally different. Basicity is a measure of how readily an atom donate its electron pack to a proton. It's characterized by an equilibrium constant Ka and making it a thermodynamic property. But nuclear felicity is a measure of how readily an atom donate its electron pack to other atom. It's characterized by a rate constant K and making it a kinetic property. Nuclear felicity parallel basicity in three instance. For two nucleophiles which different with, with the same nucleophilic atom, the stronger base is the stronger nucleophile. For example, hydroxyl and acetate. Water molecule have a pKa value uh, 15.7 while acetic acid have pKa value 4.8. So then hydroxyl ion is a stronger base and stronger nucleophile than acetate. The second one, a negatively charged nucleophile is always a stronger nucleophile than its conjugate acid. Hydroxyl is a stronger base and stronger nucleophile than water, which is a neutral molecule. A compound with a negatively charged oxygen is a stronger base and a better nucleophile than a compound with a neutral oxygen. For example, here, hydroxyl ion is a stronger base or better nucleophile than water and methoxide ion is a be stronger base and better nucleophile than methanol. Nucleophilicity increases as basicity increases from right to left across a row of the periodic table as shown here. Look at these two structure, ethoxide and tertiary butoxide. Ethoxide is stronger nucleophile, but tertiary butoxide is stronger base. Nucleophilicity does not parallel basicity when steric hydrants become important. Tertiary butoxide is a stronger base, but it's a bulky group present in this molecule. Stranded hydrogen is a decrease in reactivity resulting from the presence of bulky group at the site of a reaction for this molecule. So then, steric hydrogen decreases nucleophilicity but not basicity, non nucleophilic base. Substitution reaction involves polar uh, starting material, and polar solvent needs to dissolve this starting material. There are two types of polar solvent, which is a protic solvent and protic solvent. So this is example of the protic solvent, which solvate both K ion and N ion as well. The diagram here show the example of the protic solvent, which is water and alcohol, such as methanol, ethanol, tertiary butanol, and acetic acid. In addition to dipole-dipole interaction, polar protic solvent are capable of hydrogen bonding because they contain NOH O NH bond. Polar protic solvent solvate both cation and anion well. Look at this structure. For example, salt sodium bromide. For this molecule, sodium is solvated by Ion dipole interaction with water, but bromide and ion is solvated by hydrogen bonding with water molecule. In polar protic solvent, nuclear felicity increases down a column of the periodic table as the size of an ion increase. This is the opposite of basicity, as shown here. Look at this diagram. They are example of polar aprotic solvent. Polar aprotic solvent also exhibit dipole-dipole interaction, but they have no OH or NH bond. Thus, they are incapable of hydrogen bonding. 
polar aprotic solvent solvent only cat ion well by ion dipole interaction and ion are not solvated because the solvent cannot hydrogen bond to them this and ion are said to be naked because they are not bond tight with the molecule we say naked because they are not bound by tight interaction with solvent look at this molecule acetone solvent sodium ion ion well by ion dipole interaction but bromide and ion are surrounded surrounded by solvent but not well solvented by the acetone molecule in polar aprotic solvent nuclear felicity parallel basicity and the stronger base is the stronger nucleophile because basicity decreases as size increases down a column nuclear felicity decreases as well as shown in this structure this table show common nucleophile in organic chemistry where the negatively charged nucleophile and neutral nucleophile which have oxygen nitrogen carbon halogen and sulfur mechanism in nucleophilic substitution in this scenario the mechanism is comprised of one step which is bimolecular reaction the rate depends on on the concentration concentration of both reactant which is second order rate equation and uh, this reaction involve one step mechanism where the bond making and bond breaking occurs at the same time and uh, the one which involve two step mechanism the bond breaking occurs before bond making and then the intermediate is a carbo cation uh, consider reaction be below This is an example of SN2 substitution nucleophilic bimolecular mechanism which involve the both reactant appears in the red equation where the acetate will attack the carbon on the halide and form a product. While this one is an example of SN1 mechanism substitution nucleophilic unimolecular mechanism where the red equals to first order kinetic and only one reactant appears in the red equation and this is the sn2 mechanism the carbon bromine bond break at the as the carbon co bonds form and then form a product and the nucleophile attack the carbon and the bromine leave and form a new co bond this is energy diagram for the sn2 reaction The starting material is the alkyl halide react with acetic and then the transition state is a molecule which have a double dagger charge. In in this transition state the carbon bromine bond is partially broken the CO bond is partially formed. Okay, how about stereochemistry of the SN2 reaction? All SN2 reaction proceed with back side attack of the nucleophile the result is the inversion of the configuration of the molecule if the molecule is the stereochemistry is r and then the product is s so actually the nucleophile and the halide the bromide are 180 degrees away from each other this is an example of the sn2 mechanism where the nucleophile attack from the back side and then then the halide leave and the result is the inversion of the configuration for both reaction the flow of this reaction above show that the sn2 reaction where the nucleophile attack the carbon and then the iodine will go to produce a product but the second one the diagram below shows that the nucleophile attack the carbon and then the chlorine goes and then form a product so both of the product is the inversion configuration steric effect in sn2 reaction this order of reactivity can be explained by steric effect 
steric hydrant caused by bulky which is R group which make the nucleophile attack from the back side more difficult and slowing the reaction. Look at this archaeolite. From left to right, the bulky group is increasing. The is bigger. The bigger the bulky group, the increasing the steric hydrant and make the reactivity, reactivity decrease for the SN2 reaction. These two energy diagram shows the effect of steric hydrant and SN2 reaction. If you can see, the higher the EA, the slower the reaction rate and there's an effect that increase the EA will decrease the reaction rate. For example, if the alkyhalide have, have R bulky group um, and then it will in decrease the reaction rate. Look at this structure. The increasing the number of R group on the carbon with living group increase crowding in the transition state, thereby decrease the reaction rate. The SN2 reaction is fastest when unhindered halides used. This, this table shows that the summarize of the characteristic of the SN2 mechanism. The kinetic which is second order, the mechanism is one step and then the stereochemistry actually the backside attack where the, re, the result is the inversion of the configuration and the, the unhindered halide will react fastest. The SN2 reaction is a key step in the laboratory to produce many important drugs. For example, look at these two reactions where the production of the drug flows the thing and the itambutol. The NH2 group serves as a neutral molecule to displace the halogen and is marked as in red. What is SN1 mechanism? SN1 mechanism has two steps. The first one is the formation of the carbocation where the bromide goes. The second step is the formation of the CO bond and form a product. And then this is a Lewis acid base reaction where the, the nucleophile is the Lewis base and the carbocation is the Lewis acid. This is an energy diagram for the SN1 reaction. Since the SN1 reaction mechanism has two steps, then there are two energy barriers, where two transition states exist. Okay, how about serochemistry of the SN1 reaction? We can see that the formation of the carbocation intermediate where is a trigonal plana carbocation. In this SN1 reaction, the product is racemic mixture. The reaction occurs where the nucleophilic attack can attack from the both sides and then it forms a racemic. The reaction shown here is the two examples of the racemization in the SN1 reaction form racemic mixture. For the SN1 reaction, when the R group on the carbon with the living group increases, the rate of the SN1 reaction will increase. As shown here, the tertiary halide undergo SN1 reaction and secondary halide react slowly and then the methyl, methyl and alkyhalide do not undergo SN1 reaction. Here is the characteristic of the SN1 mechanism whereby the kinetic is the first order kinetic and then the mechanism is two step mechanism. And, and how about stereochemistry? This is actually since the formation of the trigonal plana carbocation intermediate then the product is racemic mixture and then the how about the R group, the identity of the AK halide? The more substitute halide will react fastest. The stability of the carbocation. When the increase the R group, the increase the carbocation stability from 
left to right as shown here. Four factors relevant in predicting whether the given reaction is likely to proceed as N1 or as N2 reaction. So the first one is alkyl halide. The increasing al increasing alkyl substitution will favor as N1, but the decreasing alkyl substitution will favor as N2 reaction. The second factor which involve or important in the substituent reaction is the nature of the nucleophile. The strong nucleophile present in high concentration will favor as N2 reaction, but for the weak nucleophile such as water and alcohol will favor as N1 reaction. We look at these two reactions. The first one whereby the strong nucleophile favors a SN2 mechanism, the product is the inversion of the configuration. The diagram below shows the reaction for the SN1 mechanism, whereas the weak nucleophile favors an SN1 mechanism and produce two product which is racemic mixture. The reaction here shows that the SN2 mechanism where the nucleophile attack the carbon and then the halogen leaf. And then the diagram below shows the SN1 mechanism where the halide or halogen will leave and formation of the carbocation. And the next one is formation of product which is racemic mixture. Living group. A better living group will increase the rate of both SN1 and SN2 reaction. For example here, fluorine, chlorine, bromine and iodine increasing the rate of reaction increase from the left to right. The first factor in, important in this substituent reaction is the nature of the solvent. Polar protein solvent. For example, water and alcohol will favor SN1 reaction and polar aprotic solvent will favor SN2 reaction because nucleophiles are not well solvated and therefore are more nucleophilic. This is example of the molecule which synthesized from the alkyl halide by the SN2 reaction. And here, different nucleophiles will produce a different product. For example, hydroxyl will form alcohol and alkoxide we form ether.